Hi viewers, I'm Nadim. Bismillah ar Welcome to the Farooq Academy. Today we will discuss factorization of algebraic expression. We can find the factorization by using the reverse of distributive law as well as by grouping. How can we make the grouping? For example, if you have a algebraic equation like as 5x plus 15y, so you can take the common 5 5 you can take common so you will get x plus 3y so you have made a group second by using algebraic identity here we have three formulas which are well known formulas a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab so these two squares are called perfect square formula these are perfect square formula perfect square formula and a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b into mean multiplication these two brackets are multiplying with each other so it is known as difference of two square formula difference of two square formula difference of two square formula okay third step is by using quadratic expression by using quadratic expression for example factorize x square plus 8x plus 12 so by multiplication you will get 12 and by addition you will get 8x so we have the factors 6 2s are 12 okay by multiplication you will get 12 no problem but 4 3s are 12 also 12 you will get the same result but by addition you will get 8x if we add these two so you will get 8 but if we add this one so you will get 7x but we don't need 7x so it means this is perfect factors so you can use 6 2s are 12 and by grouping take the common x plus 6 x plus 2 so here are the factors so in this way we have discussed briefly that what is the factorization of algebraic expression and how can we find it so it is an introductory lecture so for complete solutions of exercises please visit my channel m dot nadeem khan in capital letters as mathematical world and uh, i hope that it would be much beneficial to you uh, thank you thanks a lot thank you for watching